I'm Stefan Schneider. I work at the Nice University Hospital in France and together with Jean-Charles Preiser from Brussels, I am responsible for the ESPEN guidelines. So in nutrition, nutrition, you know, medical nutrition in a way is like food, meaning that everybody likes to get his or her own recipes, but at this era where medical nutrition plays a role that is getting bigger and bigger, we really need to focus on the evidence. And when we mean evidence, we mean randomized controlled trials. And there are more and more of these published in very prestigious journals. And as there are several more and more uh, of these randomized controlled trials, ESPEN has decided years ago to launch a guideline initiative and ESPEN guidelines that you can find on this page of the website have been available for years, like for antral and parenteral nutrition, like for body composition, acute pancreatitis. And a few months ago, we decided to move towards uh, disease-specific guidelines. And so groups were launched following a strict methodology with the help of a professional, professional methodologist, part of the Cochrane board. And the, uh, the methodologists, as well as the groups, follow the great method to take into account the evidence available, but also other things such as the cost-to-benefit ratio and the experts' opinions. And all, we also use the method of Delphi rounds. So several sets of guidelines have been started and are available for some of them, will be available shortly for others, and among the newest guidelines, I may, I may quote the cystic fibrosis guidelines, the cancer guidelines, the inflammatory bowel disease guidelines, dementia, neurodegenerative diseases, chronic and acute intestinal failure. So the aim of these guidelines is to help you to get, maybe not the truth, but what is recommended and what can be recommended and to use it in your hospital to improve your practice.